I'm Kyle with Umarex, and today we're installing the HPA adapter on the CO2 Air Javelin. The first thing you're going to need is a pick, and the pick is to remove the rubber inserts that cover the Phillips screw. So you'll remove these two rubber inserts. Then you'll need a Phillips screwdriver. So remove the two screws, and once you remove the two screws, the butt section of the gun should slip apart. Uh, the screw, the pin that the spring that you're after is a lower spring. This is your actual hammer spring. So the kit comes with a new hammer spring. New hammer spring is in a little package here, so you'll get it out of your kit. Slip it in here. You'll find it slide in. You then slide both of these into the butt section of the gun. Make sure they slide into the receiver. There we go. Just like that. And then you will replace the two screws that you removed. Tighten both of those and then replace the rubber caps to cover the screws. Right, once you get this, your next step is to remove the forend cover. So you'll push the little button here, slide the cover completely off the end of the gun. Then you'll get your HPA adapter from your kit. Looks like this. You'll screw that back out, it kind of pulls out like so. You'll slip this on the end all the way down. It screws in and it's knurled, so the knurls, so you can tighten it by hand. You do not need any kind of uh, tools to tighten this up. You just tighten this HP adapter all the way up. Once it's tight, the kit's complete. The last thing you're going to need is a tank. So you'll take your tank, 1150 PSI regulated tank, and you'll just screw it on to the HPA adapter and the CO2 air javelin is now ready to take high pressure air. 